25 years of marriage and you have nothing to say? I'll just say it. I slept with someone. If Didn't you keep count. talking, but, I'm gonna get out of the car. I think the fact that I did it, it just shows how broken we are. Okay. How much, how much we really... Oh my anyway, God. Crazy Stupid Love, is that the title? Yeah. Yes. Crazy, crazy Stupid, stupid love. love. About one man's dilemma who looks perfect and every woman loves, but now he likes a super hot chick and he's gonna fall in love with her. What to do? But see, that's not what it's really about. What it's really about is this young man that is gorgeous, Ryan Gosling, is advising Steve Carell, whose marriage is like, his wife cheated on him, and now he's like, I kind of wish I could have her back. Yeah, he's like trying to win, win her back. But it's like he does not have a clue as to like how to be manly, and Ryan's basically like, dude, we gotta make you not so weak and much more metrosexual attractive. Yeah, and I do love the whole pretty woman aspect for it. Everybody falls for that, but uh, I, I dig that. There's always the fashion like, scene. Like, let's in get the... you to the ball, Cinderella, but... Uh... Totally! And so they're, like, they're dressing him up in different, like, yeah. funny outfits, mostly sweater vests. Yeah, but the Ryan Gosling cool. storyline just annoys yeah, me. Yeah, he comes to Steve Carell and he's all like... I don't really want to just have lots of sex anymore. I think I love this one. Yeah, it's like, it's like. Uh, and she's not itch. falling for it. Yeah. She's not well, falling. Well, kind of hitch. It kind of pisses me off in the same way Forty Days and Forty Nights did. Mm. It's like this guy's got to desperately try to not get fucked for five weeks. Like, are you kidding me? And then, by the way, he gets raped, which had the it's movie been about a woman. Would have been horrid. That was a up. terrible, terrible thing that the happened, most and it's like the insensitively oh, hateful movie sorry ever Sorry that yeah. happened. It's totally inappropriate. The guy was totally, totally raped, raped, and it's never, ever, ever addressed. Yeah, I hate to ruin that for you all, but terrible, terrible, terrible movie. Yeah. Because yeah, men being raped is still so not okay. Yeah, but it's so awesome. but the it's whole so premise, awesome. but the whole premise is like you know this guy is desperately trying not to get laid for five weeks because. It's really difficult this Lent? when you're a gorgeous guy living in the big city. Um, well, for Josh Hartnett, it is fucking difficult. I agree. For Ryan, I imagine it's tough too, but the, the premise is that he's like Mr. Smooth and it's not working on the girl and he's like, oh, now I'm intrigued because you don't want me, which is just like real life. Meanwhile, two scenes later, she's in his Bedroom. House asking yeah. him to take off his clothes. Yeah, so, so difficult getting so complicated woman to s women to go down on you. That's really difficult. Cross the line. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you in my lap now. Ah! <laughs> Cross the line. Cross the line. <laughs> this is the line. The line is oh my. Oh. <laughs> she has layers. I gotta talk to her before she'll go down on me. Still crossing that line. <laughs> These people are so complicated. <laughs> I don't even remember what we're talking about. <laughs> Ryan Gosling's going down on you. Ah! Uh, <laughs> With his six-pack abs. Sophie needs some alone time. <laughs> Cross the line. Sophie. <laughs> Steve Carell's funny. I'll go see it. <laughs>